Welcome Clear Spring Roadrunners. This is Mrs. Kim. Thank you for joining me to practice the Making Tens with Leftovers Priority Strategy. In this session, I will feature the operation of addition, the number nine, 10 frames, and a spinner. If you have dice at home, you may use that instead of a spinner. Also, if you have other tools such as macaroni and beans, you can use those instead of cubes. To get started, I need to think about how many more I need to make a 10. I have built the number nine on my 10 frame. I have five on top, four on the bottom to make nine. I see one space is blank. That means I need one more to make a 10. That's part of my strategy of making 10s with leftovers. My next step is to find my second number that I'm going to add to the nine. I will use the spinner to do that. I landed on the number four. So my problem that I'm gonna be working with is the number nine plus the number four. I will build the number four on the 10 frame below. Earlier, I had stated I needed one more to make a 10. I'm going to get that one more from the four that I just built and I just spun on my spinner. We'll take that one and move it or regroup it to make a 10. I now have 10 on my top 10 frame and I have three left over. Going back to my original problem, I need to add, put back together my two numbers. So I now have a 10 and a three, which makes 13. 10 plus three equals 13. To review, I started with the number nine. You see those with the blue cubes and I spun the number four. I took one from the four to make a 10. I had three left over in the four and I added that to the 10 to make 13. So nine plus four equals 13. I use the strategy of making tens to add nine plus four more accurately. Now it's your turn to continue to practice the making tens with leftovers priority strategy in workstations at school and in homework. If you need reminders for the making tens with leftovers priority strategy, please revisit this video. Thank you, Roadrunners. This is Mrs. Kim, your Clear Spring math coach.